Whoa, what the heck is that? Hey, Dr. John here. Hope you guys have been enjoying the summer. I know some of my patients have enjoyed the summer, but uh, there's one patient that didn't have a very good experience this summer. And I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, let's just say the guy got catfished. Enjoy. So I had a patient that uh, came to my office and stated he got stung by a catfish while fishing out in Florida. This was a saltwater catfish. He immediately went to the ER and they attempted to remove this barb that was stuck in his toe unsuccessfully, unfortunately. So, you know, when we're out there fishing, you know, catfish have these spines and barbs on their fins, which can be very dangerous. So this catfish basically fell or dropped to the uh, dock where he was fishing. And essentially the pectoral fin jabbed him in the toe. So again, there's a barb, you know, or spine on top of the dorsal fin and a barb on the pectoral fin. And they can be very dangerous because they actually have venom. Uh, there is no nothing to be har you know harmful with the whiskers of a catfish, essentially. Those don't do anything, but it's the pectoral fin that is the really the toughest one. It's got barbed, serrated type of edges. At once it's stuck in you, it's very difficult to get rid of. Now, this is a great video by Justin Polonius uh, off of YouTube that shows how to pick up a catfish properly to keep it from really sticking you in the hand or the foot. Because again, the venom can actually cause a lot of problems and you can have a problem with bacterial infection and you know toxic effects of that uh, catfish barb. So again, we've got this stuck in the side of his great toe. I can see where it's at and I'm gonna try my best to pull it out. And sure enough, I got it. Took me about a half hour, but I tell you what, it took a lot of tugging and finally grabbed it with my hemostat. Catfish barb, and that's right, a catfish barb. And as you can see, I had to make it a little incision from the original wound and it came out, it was broken off in his foot, about a centimeter and a half, as you can see. And you can look at those, look at that serrated edge. I mean, that was what was keeping that spine or that, that, that barb in his foot when it was making it so tough to remove. Um, of course, afterwards, we want to make sure that we take another x-ray to ensure that there's nothing left in that toe. And uh, there is basically a normal looking radiograph there. So I'm following up, up for his post-procedure. And sure enough, some of the tissue started to kind of look a little, you know, red, a little you know, discolored, and that was basically the toxic, toxic effects of that uh, bar being in his toe. So we had to be very careful. He was on antibiotics, and uh, he did some local wound care, and we wanted to monitor because this can go south on us very, very easily. So if you ever get stung or, or impaled by a barb, you got to make sure that it's, it's completely taken care of by a doctor. So again, one month post removal, he's looking great. The wounds all healed. And we finally have a happy patient who will be very careful next time he goes fishing. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you next time.